All four seasons, baby. What is going on everybody? I'm contacting you from the Prius camper. Today is the day we have a very special upgrade. Ever since this box came in, I've been super eager to open it up. So today's the day, let's do it. We got ourselves a fridge. guys we got ourselves a camping fridge and not just any camping fridge this is the ice co jp40 with the dan foss compressor now this compressor system in here is super efficient you're not going to be using a lot of power and i'll eventually be able to run this off a solar system but for now we're just going to be running it off of the 12 volt system in the prius the best part about having this in the prius is the engine doesn't have to run all the time so with the combination of the hybrid battery and the efficiency of the ice co fridge this thing is gonna be super efficient and I'm really excited to start using it. First off, I just gotta give a huge shout out to Iceco. Links to all of their social media pages, their website will be down in the description below, as well as an Amazon link to pick one of these up for yourself. If you do any kind of camping, glamping, anything outdoors for that matter, you need to get one of these things. This is seriously a game changer and it's gonna come in handy in so many different situations. Let's say your power goes out. This happens all the time and worse yet, maybe this is happening during a natural disaster. You have some items that you have to keep cold, whether it be some kind of medication or even just meat and vegetables and things in general. This thing uses so little power that if you have some kind of solar system, some inverter, generator, you can power this up and it's not gonna use up a ridiculous amount of power like a traditional fridge. So you guys heard me, I've been calling it a fridge, but there's more to it. This thing can also be used as a freezer. Opening this thing up, it actually has a nice little chart in here that shows you all kind of temperatures that you wanna use for different items. We're gonna be keeping a lot of meat in here on our trip, so we'll probably have it around zero degrees Fahrenheit, but it just shows you how versatile this thing is. It's even got a light inside here and multiple different organizational options. And this thing also comes with an included cover to help with insulation. And this is gonna come in handy on those hot days. Let's go ahead and show you guys what's inside here. So these are actually the handles, and I gotta say, this is an awesome design. It's got a spring in here, so when you're not using them, they sit pretty flush and don't stick out very far. And when you go to pick it up, it just slides out like that. I'm actually not gonna install these yet, because I don't think I'll need them for my build. Right here we have our standard wall plug, and Iceco actually warranties the compressor for five years. And if anything else goes wrong, you're covered for a year. Iceco has a bunch of different variations of these. You can get the JP30, the 40, or the 50. I went with the 40 just because it was the perfect size for my build. They also have a newer model that you can connect to your phone, which is pretty sweet. But basically what the numbers mean is just liters. So the JP40 has 40 liters of storage, and that's pretty similar to quartz. My current model weighs in at 37 and a half pounds dry, so 
it's really easy to move around. And overall, this thing is so simple to operate. It tells you all kinds of information as far as power draw and everything that you need to know is in this owner's manual. But I'm most interested in this cable right here. This is what's gonna allow us to hook into the 12 volt system in the Prius. And you also have a cable extension as well if you need it. I don't think we'll need it. But these cables feel really quality, so that's awesome to see. There's also an eco mode, which draws less power and the compressor spins at a slower speed. So when you receive one of these fridge systems, so you're gonna wanna wait about six hours before you plug it in because during transport, they could be throwing it around. It might not be sitting completely flat and they don't recommend you to have this thing upside down or anything like that so it's recommended to wait about six hours before you plug it in for the first time but enough talking for now let's go ahead and load this thing up and see what it looks like inside the Prius well everybody it fits perfect my measurements came out dead accurate it is completely level with my platform here and i can even have the passenger seat back almost all the way i'm not going to plug it in just yet but i can't wait to break this thing in gotta fill up the beast right now good thing is about 20 dollars all it takes 22 dollars oh my gosh it says 587 miles that i have until empty yeah buddy What is up you guys? So it's been a few weeks since those last clips. I haven't got a chance to play with the fridge yet and I'll show you why. So you should be able to just plug that 12 volt connector in and the fridge should turn on. So let's try that. Nothing. So of course I jumped to conclusions. I was freaking out. I thought the fridge was broke. I pulled the fuse out of the fridge itself and it was good of course. I even checked the little fuse inside of the connector and it was good. So I was fairly confident that it was not the fridge. So my next step was to start diagnosing the 12 volt ports in here and sure enough neither of them worked. But I looked up a video. I found the two fuses that were the culprits and sure enough they were blown. So it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but both of the fuses are blown. So I went ahead and picked up some more low profile 15 amp fuses. We're gonna swap them in and see if that fixes our problem. All right, so the new fuses are in, but the real question is why did they blow in the first place? I would imagine it was caused by running an inverter that just overpowered the system. I guess maybe they could have blown one and then tried the other one and blew them both and just never replaced it. I'm not quite sure. I don't really have the answer. And the 12 volt system in this vehicle really isn't meant to draw that much power. It says right here, 120 watts max. So we're either going to blow those two fuses or it's going to work. And we have a fridge. So right now we are sitting at 57 degrees. It's actually a super warm day here in Ohio. So we'll see how long it takes to cool down. Ready buddy? Come here. So I actually have it set in eco mode right now. We're gonna change that because I want this to cool down faster. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it into max. We have a high, medium, and low setting here. We're gonna crank this up to high. I have this set to zero degrees. It is at 57 right now. I'm gonna start my timer and we will see how long it takes to get to the operating temperature. Pretty nice day, huh? Very nice day. I could almost wear a t-shirt. I know, I thought about taking my jacket off. I think I'm going to. What did that, what's that other thing? Oh, oh, so this is actually a bag that goes around the entire thing to help insulate it. And I'm gonna be putting that on, of course, 
And the nice thing about it too is it kind of adds a stealth aspect if someone is to peek into your window. This is going to be all zipped up and it's just going to look like a black bag. Yeah. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Unfortunately, with the small space that I have, I couldn't leave the handles on here, so I had to take those off. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to find a couple bolts that match the same thread pattern on the side and I'm going to get some brackets that I can just have on one side of this and then tie a bike lock onto that. So I'll probably tie the bike lock into the frame of the passenger seat. That way people are going to have to struggle to get it out and if somebody breaks into this they're not going to take the time to get a cooler out. So I think that's what we're going to do just to kind of alleviate some of the worry as far as leaving this in here because this is a investment and um, out of all the brands like I said this is one of the more affordable options and it's got that Dan Foss compressor that you can't beat can you even hear this thing running right now mm -mm. it's silent it completely You don't even care. Boy. He's like, where did it go? Good boy. You're a true dog if you can retrieve this one, okay? again a little bit further downstream this time he's sitting on a rock Stay. that didn't work got it <laughs> he's carrying it so lopsided good boy all right guys it has been a 16 minutes as of right now. So let's see what the fridge is at. What's your guess? 40 degrees. 40 degrees? Oh man. 45 degrees. 45. Let's feel it. I, don't, I wonder if we can even notice. I mean, I, I feel bet. like it's it's like 50 degrees though. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> you want to get a feel? That was got my hand. Right? Oh yeah. The thing about this design, and I mean coolers in general, the lid is on the top for a reason. Why is that? I don't know. Heat rises. Right. Okay. So the cold air will stay in the bottom gotcha. when you open the top, in theory. 43 degrees, how does that work? Whoa, After we, we just, just opened, opened it. it. Yeah. There it is. Look how nice those pockets are. Boom. All right, so I'm actually going to plug it into the one and this now and see if that works. Yep. And guess what we're at? 30. 37. Wow. Oh, wow. Man, that height is so perfect. All right, you guys, so we're making our way down to 36 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Overall, I couldn't be any happier. Huge shout out and thank you to Iceco for sending this out and making it happen. If you guys want to pick one of these things up for yourself, they're great for camping, 
anything outdoors and they're just ultra efficient best in the business Dan Foss compressor you can't ask for anything more the technology in these things have come a long way and these are really affordable for what they are I don't want to say any names but you can't even buy a top cooler out there for the price of this so it's pretty neat really functional I can't wait to use this thing get it stacked up with some meat I think the first meal that we're gonna cook with this thing is some nice juicy steaks so make sure you stay tuned for that subscribe if you're new ice co is actually running a promotion right now during Christmas so be sure to visit their website it'll be the first link in the description so once again shout out to ice co follow them on all their social media pages tell them i sent you there be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts this is a game changer for me personally especially with the way the battery system is in this prius it's awesome to be able to run this thing with the gasoline engine off. So in combination with this, maybe some solar panels in the future, we're gonna have a really awesome camping setup. And this thing is becoming a reality a lot faster than I thought it would. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. So I'm really hoping to get out on my first adventure soon and put this thing to the test. So be sure to stay tuned. We do daily uploads here, so don't miss out on anything. Turn the notifications on and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. Peace.